morning. So we talk a lot about reinforcement zones when we're talking, uh, if you're taking any of my classes through New England Dog Training Club or through Every Dog Training Center or even just here on these training videos, you'll see a lot of references to reinforcement zones. And reinforcement zones are, if I'm working with Captain, I'll have a video up here, but um, that goes into it a little bit more in detail, but think about how we train our animals. He sees those two cats up in the window that I'm seeing right now, so he might go howling in a minute. But reinforcement zones are, if I'm working with a dog, I'm usually training it right in front of me. Sit, down, stay, touch, tricks, everything happens right in front of me, almost like a hula hoop size in front of me. So I can get my dog to sit here very easily. If I say sit, most dogs will run up in front of me and sit. Now what if I want my dog to sit to my left? I have to build up another hula hoop reinforcement zone on my left, which is useful for loose leash walking, healing, um, side sit, anything over here. I might want to pull one up over on my right if I live in a city. So in my book, Considerations for the City Dog, I talk a lot about the importance of having your dog working well on both sides, not just on your left, like you might learn in an obedience club, because you are working on sidewalks, so people are walking very close to you. There might be broken glass or chicken bones on one side, so having your dog being uh, flexible to walk on both sides. Uh, for trick work, your dog might want to sit behind you um, or sitting um, in, uh, in between your legs. So if you want your dog to learn how to put their paws on your feet and walk, you have to build a reinforcement zone between your legs. So today we're going to work on reinforcement zones to our front, left, and side, and behind you. And that's something that you can just work with sit and down. You don't have to do anything fancy, just touch and sit. Um, and if you wanted to get fancy, you could do some downs, you could do sit pretties on either side. But when we're, when we're proofing tricks, this is one way that you can do it very easily in a very small space. So if you're in an apartment, working on reinforcement zones around your body, and I call this exercise around the world. So I'll demonstrate. All right. Yeah. Sit. Yes. Touch. Sit. Yes. Good job. Touch. Sit. A little closer. Sit. Yes. Good job. Good job. Front. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> Good job. Stay. Good job. Cap, touch. Down. Yes. Touch. Down. Good job. Through. Down. Good job. Well done. Good job. And so for tomorrow, we'll show how to get them between your legs. Good luck. Try it.